These Timu ads are taking over, promising products at dirt cheap prices, but I wanted to find out if they're actually real, or is it just too good to be true? So today I'll be buying a selection of the weirdest $1 products I can find, and boy did it not disappoint. Right, so let's try and find 10 or 15 products that are insane value for money. Ooh, this looks alright, £1.49, what a bargain! Aviators for £1.79, an LCD writing drawing tablet for kids, £1.77, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Right. Okay, so the only one that's actually £1.77 is the pink one. I'm going to go against, you know, gender, colours, stereotypes and all that. Thank me in the comments for, you know, moving the, the world forward. Let's find some earphones for a quid. I'm going to buy these for 77p. A cleaning kit for your earphones. Who has a device to clean their earphones? Lick it out. No, I won't lick it out. Hang on a sec. Is this a Mac for £1.79? No, it's not actually a Mac, is it? There's got to be something in the, in the small print here. Mac OS, quick reference. It's stickers. It's stickers for your Mac. You're paying £1.79 for some stickers. Oh, here we go. An LED bar light for £1.52. Fantastic. This definitely won't set a light. I guess if it burns the place down, that'll be some entertainment in the video, I guess. Do you know what? I might actually get one of these. I've been having issues sometimes with me with the old wrist. Car Geisphophilia USB atmosphere light. What's Geisophilia? Sounds like something you've got put on the register for. And who's putting that in the car? Are the babes going, oh my god, you've not got your USB light plugged in, have you, Dave? Is that meant to be like a pulling technique or something? He's got his atmosphere lights on again. He's lit the place up red. It's USB activated. Right, we'll get it. £1.52. Another thing to potentially set the place alight. Hang on, you can buy a lightsaber for 89p here. 89p. Suitable for Christmas Galactic Warrior theme parties. Oh yeah, I'm always going to a Galactic Warrior themed party. Oh, it's not 89p, it's the Double Sword Connector that's 89p, of course. The actual lightsaber is a £3.09, so a little bit out of the budget. Do you know what, I'm still tempted though. Does it release an actual beam? I don't know. Right, let's get a red one. Right, that's mental. A double chin reducer. Who's going, yeah, do you know what, let's go with a double chin. Get the double chin reducer on. Right, I've got to get a double chin remover. Got to prepare, haven't you? Start early. Any more of those Greg's videos and I will need them. £1.34 to get rid of your double chin. That's a bargain. Finger strengthener, grip strength trainer, guitar finger strength. Who's doing this? This is ridiculous. I'm getting one. I'm getting one. My fingers are going to have abs by the time I'm finished. I want a six pack on my money back. We're getting one. £1.48. Come on, let's get those fingers strengthened. Eyebrow trimmer. I need one of them, will I? I do have eyebrows. I do. They're just, it's light colour. Let's buy one of these electric pet machines, as they call them. Otherwise known as the Tamagotchi mini games console. It's a stretch. It's a glorified Happy Meal toy. And to finish off, I ended up buying a toothpaste squeezer, chopsticks for gamers, a posture corrector, and an LED watch. And all that was left to do was to wait and see what arrived. Right, okay, it is about 10 days since I filmed that last segment and the parcel has arrived with supposedly all 15 items in. I was expecting a big box of different things, but no, this is all that's arrived. So I'm already suspicious. First thing out of the bag. Not good that it says caution. Okay, so I think this might be the LED lights that go in behind your monitor screen or something like that. That can't be half a meter, surely. Or maybe. Oh, I'm willing to say that that's not that far off half a meter. Okay, here is the moment of truth. Will it light up? Hey, <laughs> it works. Can't guarantee it won't blow up later, but for now it works. Okay, then up next, what have we got in the bag? Now this looks like the watch that we paid £1.61 for. Does it work? It works. I mean, whether it actually does any of the stuff that it says is a different thing. I'm not sure I buy that this actually measures your heart rate. This watch is touch operated. I think that's a load of bollocks. £1.61 for a watch that tells you the time. That's all right. Okay, on to the next one. Toothpaste squeezer. In case you're incapable of squeezing your own toothpaste. 48p this. So basically what it does is it pushes up the toothpaste towards the top. As you can see, is there much toothpaste left here? There's not actually, it's done a pretty good job. Oh, I think I know what this might be actually. Okay, so I believe that this is the back chiropractor. £1.48. Jesus Christ, I'm a bra. Not like I've done that before. Apparently these have sold out according to the website or they've been taken down because they've killed someone, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this is doing. Do I feel like I'm more no, not really. I mean, yeah, it's a gift, isn't it? It's a present. Um, if you run out of stuff for your dad, which I am most of the time, um, just just wrap this up. So you're back. You've got a bad back. You're getting old. Have this. 
Happy birthday. £1.48. I mean, again, it's £1.48. Can you be annoyed at anything that's £1.48? I'd pay a parking fine if it was £1.48. Oh, this is to rest my hand on. All right, let's get rid of this old thing. It's like a decade old. And then replace it with this. This material here is awful. It doesn't really feel like a mouse mat. It's kind of not very nice to touch. This is really nice. Yeah, that's all right. I might actually end up using this, you know? Which is always helpful, isn't it? Next item. Earphones. These cost me like 77p. Don't really have high hopes. The earphones themselves do look a little bit weird. Almost look alien. Do they say left and right? No, not that I can see. Yeah, comfortable. But do they work? That's the big question. Okay, let's put on something and see if they work. I grew up in a small little village with hardly anybody in it. Then I took a trip to a city, but it's too fucking busy for me. Enough that. Uh, yeah, very good that they work. The actual sound quality, it's not that great. They sound a little bit like if McDonald's gave these away as like some sort of Happy Meal toy. 77p, you sort of get what you expect. Up next, what do we have? I think this might be the drawing tablet. Probably gonna break it whilst trying to open it up because it's so light. 8.5 inch LCD whiteboard tablet of environmental protection. What does that mean? Painting, graffiti, practice, calculus. Just words. And it claims to save up to 100,000 pieces of paper. I think that's why it claims to be an environmental tool. This is madness. I've never seen anything like this. It's unbelievably thin. I mean, this is mad. This can't work, surely. I mean, where's like, the processor or whatever. Get a little uh, stylus with it, pop it out. I think it is just that. Is it? Is that all it is? Just checked the store. This item has been discontinued. <laughs> this is now a rare piece. I paid, what, £1.77 for this. I could maybe get two quid for this now. It's like a plastic chopping board is essentially what it is. Genuinely, and it's probably made out of the same company. If you flip it over, it becomes a chopping board. Look. Do me onions on that later. Here's the thing, right? If if this delete button worked, which it doesn't, if it works, that wouldn't be too bad. For £1.77, that'd be pretty good, in fact. But it doesn't work. Do you know what? I'm going to actually keep this. I'm not going to unpackage it because I think that in quite a while, maybe a hundred years' time, this will be worth three quid, four quid, five quid. Even though it's not actually a Tamagotchi, is it? It just says pet game at the top. Okay, this is the most expensive item that we bought. Three pounds. Oh, it has a light at the bottom of it. That's a good sign. Screws in like so. Oh, that is actually really quite good for three quid. I think it does light up. I need to find some batteries for it. I think they're quite specific batteries. But imagine that. You're a kid, you know, you and your brother just battering each other with one of these. That's pretty good. I mean, it works. It's got good mobility. Take on a few droids. Right, next up we paid £1.48 for these finger strengthening device. The guitar and stuff. Just play guitar and they'll strengthen naturally. Imagine going to the gym and everyone's lifting big weights and you're like, you're right, yeah, just doing this. Just uh, working out the old fingers. Yeah. Not for that reason, no, you filthy little. Probably gonna give myself arthritis if I do this any longer. Repetitive strain injury and all that. Would it build up your finger strength? I don't know, I'm not a doctor. What is this? This might be the heaviest of the items, I think. Could it be a watch? And I was right, it is a watch. Wow, a lot smaller than it looks on the picture. That's what she said, no. Um, wow, okay, so it comes in a nice sort of spongy box thing. Nicely presented. Now bear in mind, this watch cost £1.48, okay? How do you open up a watch? Can you tell I don't own one? I actually don't know how you open it. Okay, I've accidentally done it, okay. Bits of it are flaking off. <laughs> it's not a good sign, is it? God, can I not get it off now? You have to Google how to open up a watch. You see, they don't teach you this at school. They should. Use your finger to then lift the clasp up at the lock end and lift open. Oh, more extension. it works. This is a pair of snack chopsticks for gamers. You're gonna be, you know, on your mouse and that kind of thing. Oh, but I also want to eat food while gaming. Linguini. Fine. Good. Oh, I was curious on this one. This is the car Geisophilia LED light atmosphere thing. Okay, we are all plugged in. Now let's see whether it does anything. And it produces lights. <laughs> it creates atmosphere dots. 
Can you feel the atmosphere? Bloody brilliant in here. Still not quite sure the point of this, to be honest with you, but it works. It, it does something. And £1.52? Yeah. Okay, the penultimate products for us to take a look at. This will cost a grand total of £1.79. And it is, of course, <laughs> aviators. Um, child aviators, maybe? Can't imagine Joe Biden wearing these. Or could I, actually? He's into lots of... No, we've got to go down that route. Um, <laughs> these have to be children's aviators, surely. Do they work? Do they look cool? Do they look trendy? We all know the answer to that. Okay, I've saved the best till last. This, of course, is the double chin reducer, uh, or what they call the facelift, which uh, is essentially supposed to give you a facelift for £1.34. Just simply place the chin into the strap. Jesus Christ. It's like I'm being born again. Is that right? Am I wearing this right? I feel like I've been in a car accident. Oh, wait, the wrong way around. This way around. Oh, God. Jesus. I'm suffocating myself. That's better. No, perfect. Now it looks normal. <laughs> Do I think this is going to get rid of your double chin? Probably not. This is mental and I love it. I mean, overall, do you know what? Most of those aren't too bad for the price. Most of them aren't too bad, dare I say it. Yes, the, you know, some of them probably won't last very long. Environmentally not great, obviously. But live in the moment, that's what I believe in. Live in the moment, forget about tomorrow. That's what I was always taught.